chapter nine. So chapter nine ends the first part of this novel, um, the first part, which was titled The Volcano. So um, kind of fitting that the chapter ends with Kira um, thinking that the whole town, the whole village life in the volcano is now gone. So she uh, manages to get out of the volcano, goes to the outside, and pretty immediately finds her father um, frantically running uh, toward her. And he was surprised to see her outside, um, but warned her that the takers knew about Zidu. Um, they were chasing after him and that he told her to go to another village and warn them about what was happening. Um, so he found her a hiding spot and then he ran. Um, and she was able to figure out that the takers were following her father, that they knew about the entrance to Zidu and that they followed him into the town. So she stayed in her hiding spot for a day or two, um, hearing all of the takers coming and going um, into her volcano. And once she finally managed to get out of her hiding spot, she was able to peer into the volcano, which was um, on fire. So they talked about uh, not the normal smoke coming out of it that they were creating, but um, billows of smoke, so lots of smoke coming out which kind of implies that the takers were setting fire to everything in the volcano. Um, and she wasn't able to see anything or anyone what was actually happening. Um, so we can kind of infer from that, that the takers were going through and just burning down everything, taking whatever was of value to them, um, possibly killing people. Uh, and maybe capturing people, we're not really sure. Um, but to Kira, everything, her whole life, her whole world is now gone. So she goes away and she decides she's not going to go to the village and warn people because she's afraid that some of the takers might still be watching her or following her. And um, possibly if they follow her, then they will um, also be exposed and she could possibly cause more damage to more people. So she decides not to do that. So she goes to the river um, and it's raining a monsoon. They mentioned monsoon is um, just downpours of rain. So torrential rain coming through and it's causing the river to rise. And so she falls into the river and, um, wakes up at some point and someone has rescued her and um, she's not really with it. She doesn't really know what's going on, but she knows she's in a forest and somebody has rescued her from the river and is carrying her through the forest. And that's how chapter nine ends. Um, that's also the end of this uh, first part and so now we're going to be entering into a new part of the story.